Hello everyone, Ruthann here. I made a new project for a friend of mine who is having her first baby. And they they know it's going to be a boy and they're going to call him Matthew. And so I decided that I would make a um, photo album for them, but I wanted to put it in a box. And so this is what came out. It kind of, <laughs> the project kind of grew on me as it was. Uh, I bought one of these boxes that you can get at Michael's that are very pretty boxes that have a a um, magnetic closure on them. And um, even though it was kind of hard to paint over it, I did so. I got some blue craft uh, paint and painted all the edges of the box to uh, match the uh, Graphic 45 Precious Memory Papers. And... Um, I decided, well, you know, most of these papers, um, they're really the Graphic 45 Precious Memories. I found that it was more geared for girls than boys, but um, I still was able to make it work. And what I did was, after I painted the uh, box, I um, decorated it with the paper, put a uh, another chipboard piece on the top, and then put some... Uh, Graphic 45 elements, some prima flowers, and uh, a strip from the paper. I found these tiles on eBay. I just took different elements that uh, came in my head, whether they were from my own stash or uh, items from off the internet or Graphic 45 or whatever, to make a, a what I had in mind, and it was kind of fun. This is uh, Tim Holt's little uh, clock I thought was cute and one of the chipboard pieces from the elements and put some stickles around it and some ribbon. And then I put one of these little drawer pulls on the front and uh, more paper, little pieces from the sticker sheet, some strips from the paper itself. Whoops, sorry, went out of frame. And um, still, it still closes with that magnetic closure, not quite as hard as it would with the uh, regular boxes, but it still works. And then on the sides, here's some of that patty cake paper, graphic 45, and some more. And then on the bottom, <clears throat> I just put a dark blue sheet of cardstock and one of the sticker strips from off um, the sticker sheet. Also, uh, I uh, bought some jolly little stickers of uh, a baby bottle and some rattles and some bling. Always have to have bling somewhere. <laughs> so that was the box. And on the inside is the um, album I'll get to in just a minute. But at the inside of the box, I put... Uh, one of the, um, if it, oh, one of those sheets. I can't ever say that name. Anyway, um, <clears throat> from the the set and cherish so sweet. I cut out one of the little butterflies and put some stickles on them and just put it on the back of this little guy's jumper. This is a picture I I found on the internet and I just printed it out and then fussy cut it out and put it on there. And then in the bottom is um, just some more of the paper. Put a little sticker that says new arrival in there and also special delivery and put in a couple of ribbons that will cause it to uh, hold it and to close it. So that's the box itself. Um, the, the one on the sticker sheet says Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and, and Precious Memories. And that's what I put on the very, very bottom. I think the box turned out pretty good. I really, really liked that. And then <clears throat> the photo album itself, I had wanted to put um, the ribbon as a closure on the side and I had already had the inside covers done and then realized, oh man, I forgot the ribbon. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, it's just to help to get it inside, uh, uh, get it out of the box. 
but um, she can take it out and put the album on a uh, shelf if she wants and use the box for something else, just whatever she wants to do. Anyway, it's a pretty simple album, but I had lots of fun making it. Let's see, it's a pretty big one. It's about, um, overall, it's, oops, I got it upside down. It's 11 by 8 is the measurement on it. On the spine, I just put a book plate that says Volume 1. The back is just plain. And on the front is, of course, elements from the Graphic 45 paper itself. Um, cutouts of the mother with a child. And it's a boy. Bundle of joy. And three little cutouts. I love the little boy with the rabbit. I think that's so cute. So this is what it looks like. Oops, let's see if I can get you in frame here. The first page is um, one of those cards and I cut it out, I fussy cut it out and then put in a picture of my little granddaughter in here. She was born just a few months ago. But it's to see, to tell um, this gal that she can put pictures in the album. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but anyway, so she wouldn't be afraid to put pictures in the album. Here's one of the tags. She can put pictures on the back of that. And I um, I have the, the stamps, and I used one of those stamps of the, of the bottle. And she can put something on the back of that. And of course there's room back here that she can put other stuff back behind this pocket. This one <coughs> says baby's first picture. It's supposed to be the ultrasound. Oh dear. Hold on people, it's kind of hard with one hand. Um, I found this uh, on the internet. My precious little baby I've loved you from the start. Your tiny miracle laying close to my heart. Anyway, it's a it's a little poem that I thought was really, really cool. And I found this picture that says, For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb from Psalms 139.13. So cute! But I'm going to tell her she can put something over that picture. It was just to show her that she could put the ultrasound picture there if she desired. And then there are two uh, photo mats. One says adorable, one says cherish. That and so sweet that she can put, you know, whatever she wants there. I tried to use uh, the same elements. I like this little edge cutter. It looks kind of like a doily, so I use that quite often. Here's a part from the uh, sticker sheet. And what I did on this one, because the papers used pink and blue, I decided to alternate. One uh, one page would be blue, the next one would be pink, the next blue, and so on and so forth. So that's how I've done it throughout the book. And even though it is a boy, it seemed to work out quite well. Here's the next page. I took a... I don't know if I can get this in frame. Maybe if I get out a little bit. Whoops. Where am I? Oh, there. I took the sticker sheet and wrote out, wrote out his name, Matthew, in this belly band again. This is a little a little booklet, if I can open it here with one hand. And um, this is from um, the stamps. And I just fussy cut him out. A little, um, one of the little embellishments I had in my stash. And this is a magnet. This opens up. And she could put a picture here. And um, what you are up of the world so high. Then these are a couple of um, more photo mats sent from heaven. A baby is a piece of heaven you can hold. And I have um, some um, verses from the Bible all throughout this album. And then there's little balloon stickers and stick pins. So 
that's uh, this page. This kind of goes in like this. And then this page is for her baby shower page. Please join us for a baby shower. Um, and of course, I left it blank. We're having the, the shower come up really soon. But um, so she can write in what in there, whatever she wants in there. There's a couple of photo mats I made for her. And they're, they're blank on the back, of course. And this one is cute. I made a little um, envelope, put a couple of little uh, tennis shoes in a little... I cut out one of the little fireflies, put it on there. And then I made a Western Union. I have a Western Union stamp. And I made a little Western Union gram that says congratulations on the birth of your new baby boy he will be a joy to you I know he is to me God and so I, I put that up in this little envelope there's also I found a, a bunch of uh, photos of hospital bracelets and I know how they put that around the baby's ankle so I um, printed one out and then took the sticker sheet and wrote out his last name on the on the band. Then this opens up and you can put a photo back here of course and then I found a birthday chronicle online and uh, I printed it out on some newspaper um, newsprint paper. Uh, what I did is I downloaded it into my computer and I um, converted it to his name and information on it so that it looked like it was a, a newspaper written on the day he was born. And then, of course, there are two photo mats. Sorry, this is so hard with one handed. And this one says, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And of course, there's room on the back to. Um, Put any photos and that just tucks right underneath there so that's that page then we move on to this page this kind of looks like a birth re record you can't really uh, I'm trying to keep this in frame for you sorry Um, kind of looks like a birth record with the feet and all. You can't really read it, which is fine because it's obviously not his birth record because he's not quite born yet. And then uh, these cute little feet on there. Make a photo on that. And there's a rather large one here that would be fine for a 5x7 photo that could be on both sides. And I left this side open so that if there was one that was a little bit longer or something that she could put in there. There's obviously tons of room in this album. I um, also put Little Bear bottle. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. It's so cool. But if you see this, I wanted to show, I should have showed you this at the beginning. There's lots of room to, to put in lots of things. You know how it is with the first baby. There's always tons of things you want to save. And and so um, that's how I did it on purpose to make sure that I didn't put too much in here but th that she could stuff it full of stuff that she wanted to. Then this one's supposed to look like a dresser with clothes hanging out. Um, don't know if that really <laughs> translated but that was the idea. This is a little Brad that says baby boy and clothes that are hanging out over the dresser. And then I have um, two tags. And this one, some one of the cutouts of course. And then tried to look like the clothes on the hangers in the closet. And down here it says peekaboo. And then that 
just slides right in there like that. Snips and snails and puppy dog tails, that's what little boys are made out of. Then this page says the certificate, the birth certificate. And um, she can write in there. I found this one um, on the internet, but I also had this kind of paper that I printed it out on. So like I say, I just take little parts and pieces of things that I have in my stash and work it all together. And there's a little baby bottle and some cutouts and chipboard pieces. And This page is... Um, I like this page. I have another little Bible verse. Um, Cherish, so sweet. And I love this picture by uh, artist Blackshear that painted this picture. The angel uh, watching over the little boy sleeping. I just love that picture. And then more places for photos. Took one of the little um, from the sticker sheet. Love that little boy with a rabbit. It's so cute. And I put a stopper right here. Maybe kind of in the wrong place because they want to fall out the other way, but um, I really like that page. These two pages in the middle show you, well, I don't know if I can get this all in frame. Um, it's for the parents of the girlfriend. She's uh, um they're going to write blessings for the for the new baby and they'll be in here i um found pictures of old um letter boxes mailboxes and put them on here and made them as uh pockets and they can put it in there plus this is a a, a pocket in here down here as well so they could put lots in here and i made it uh, very simple so that in case they had something more that they wanted to put in there, there would be room for it. I also uh, put a, a slit here in this letter box and put a little verse cut out and used my, one of my favorite rubber stamps. It's a one that says Hawaii in there and they used to live in Hawaii so it was kind of special. And so then I put it right back in there with that little stamp showing and they can when they had their blessings done they can put them in here um, and in here and uh, put in one of the little decorative um, safety pins so that's what that is the blessing page the next page is um, another blessing page and it's a blessing for me and it's uh, written in Hebrew and then over here is English to Hebrew. It says, Matthew, may you grow in grace and favor with God and man. And it's written in both English and Hebrew. And then uh, they can put a picture here. And there's a little tag here. I was going to put something on it, like a stamp something on it or something. I just haven't done it. But I like those little, those little um, tags. But this one is open here so she can... She can put something, I'm sorry, she can put something in there, <coughs> whatever she wants. This page was <laughs> kind of fun. I found this um, on the internet, this picture, printed it out on my uh, with photo paper, and then fussy cut it out. And, um, and then um, from the sticker from the um, strips in the sheet paper it says a boy and the little um, shoes and but here is uh, some Gerber baby food put some pictures on the back and wellness shaped by goat's milk and since my husband uh, has a herd of dairy goats and sells goat's milk it's kind of a play on photos I guess <laughs> So those are the eating pages. Then this page, Mary had a little lamb, fleece as white as snow. Um, just simple little tags 
Um, you can write things on it. And I couldn't resist this picture. I think it's adorable. Found it on the internet and printed it out. But she obviously can put a picture over it, put a picture of her son in there. And I left this open on the side so in case uh, somebody wanted to put something more in there than just those little tags, she could. This page is pink page. Um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. See, this page is blue, and this one is pink now. And I took a, a one of my little feet stamp and um, embossed in copper, I think it was. There's little feet in there, I think it was so cute. You can write something on the back or put a little tiny photo. And uh, this is a little gusseted little envelope, so if there's something more she wants to put in there, that'd be okay. And that goes right in there. It does go in there. Here. There we go. And then this little guy, I have that stamp. I love that stamp. Writing a note. And she can write something on the back. And there's room for more little photos, whatever she wants to put in there. This page, um, I took out uh, one of the old slides we have from like 50, 60 years ago. And uh, well, it's probably longer than that, about 70 years ago. Took out the black film because it was a it was a dead picture, and uh, cut out most of it. But um, I had uh, one of my stamps from this collection, stamped it on a piece of paper and just put it so it's black and white. Thought that was kind of cool. Then I put uh, smile down the side from the sticker sheet, and this one says. Precious Memories. Fussy cut him out. And it's just a little booklet. It says, Welcome, Little One. And this is a pocket, so she can put something back there. I didn't put any tags back there. Or um, she can just put whatever she wants back there. Then this opens up. And Rockabye Baby, that's from one of the stamps. And she can put a picture there. And she can put, of course, two pictures there. And this just lays in there and the magnet holds it shut. This page, um, pretty simple. The verse again, one of the little cutouts. Little Brad that says, baby, it's a boy. And... This says Cherish, one of those little cutouts. I did a lot with these little uh, gold strips. Um, I did a lot of it throughout the album, as you can see. And I really think it, it gave a touch that I was really looking for. Elegant, but still sweet and fun. More of the paper in the back. And there's room there if she wants to put more than one, out, uh, one picture in there. Obviously, there's tons of room for that. Then we're getting to the back of the book here. This page, there's chipboard elements, um, some of the Jolie Boutique uh, little things. It says Baby, hush a some more of that uh, gold strips, more of the paper in the back, of course. And this one, um, I picked up a sheet from... Um, Oh, one of the craft stores, and uh, it was on sale, and I, I cut out one of the pieces of it. It says, weight and height, date range and name, and I thought that would be kind of fun to put it on there as, you know, just as something of her baby growing. And uh, I only put one in here, but there's tons of room again for more photos if she wants to put that in there. And here's the back page. The back page is... Um, a little bit more stuff than usual. This part right here that says, uh, I don't know if you can see 
see it very well. It says Cherish and a little um, little Brad that has like little boy blue singing on it, which is like this one over here. Um, I just made this into a little envelope and it says my little blurb of me making it for her. And this picture, I absolutely love it. I found it on the internet. This little boy playing on a flute in the um, the little kitten is sitting there just looking up at him and listening. <laughs> that was so cute. In the back here, there's a pocket and this is um, what are little boys made of? Snakes and snails, mud and mischief, puppies and princes, fingerprints and frogs, kites and kingdoms, wagons and worms, baseballs and bikes, tigers and trucks, race cars and rope swings, laughter and legends, and a lifetime of love. I thought that pretty much encapsulized everything. And of course she put a photo back there and she can put all kinds of whatever she wants in the back. This one, this little um, photo mat and also a little place for journaling. I had this in my stash. I've had it for eons. This little ribbon that says congratulations and I thought oh, how perfect. It's yellow which picks up the yellow in the paper and pink which ca uh, captures the color as well. This this is a little uh, um, pocket so she can put other things in there if she likes and of course uh, room for other photos in the back. And that is the album and I just like I said I wrapped it up in that ribbon that seemed to help to be able to get it in and out of the box um, if I had it to do again I would have put it on the side but oh well it's okay it works <laughs> so uh, I really thank you for coming by and hope you have a good day happy crafting